Uh, Patty, Oscar, uh, Devon, thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Emmanuel. You know, the first thing I want to ask you guys is, do you guys have any stories on when you've gone MIA maybe on a publicist and, and they may, you maybe gave them a heart attack? Never. Well, I'm not missing on what now? Like, have you ever lost it on your publicist? And they're in the room, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I've, I've had publicists on and off. I don't, um, um, I don't have one right now, in other words. Uh, strangely enough, I had one from fourth grade to seventh grade, and I wasn't even in the business. Mm. My parents thought I needed a publicist. That's so much money. So I, was, I know. What were they thinking? For three years. Do you, <laughs> pet, do you yell at your publicist? Do I yell at my publicist? Uh, um, no, uh, if you've ever gone missing. Have I ever gone missing on oh, my oh, They're freaking oh, out. Movie, I get it now. Oh. Like in the movie. Yeah. Oh, no, I keep a very open line of communication with my publicist. It's very important to me that we have a professional relationship, but there's laughs too, but definitely never anything toxic. Because mm -hmm. mm. Divine, you play Beth, which is such a fun character. She's got a lot to deal with on her play. Tell me a little bit about her. Listen, this lady is trying the best <laughs> that she can. She's got a lot on her shoulder she She's needs to make that money you know this is a gold mine this is a no-brainer and sandy's playing games like she doesn't want to write and so beth's not having it unfortunately in the process she gets kidnapped so then she's got to you know save the day and go get her home girl and retrieve her and save her from harry potter and she <laughs> does because like can't make it happen when when um Sandra at the beginning of the movie you're like oh, oh and then Sandra's like no I don't want to do this anymore and that's where the drama comes in yeah that's where the drama mm -hmm. comes in what? That's, yeah that's, that's what I was telling you yeah hey, you're the telling friction me. causes the friction the, is crazy is causes, what causes the, the stuff the to stuff happen. happen yeah and she gets and then she has to and then she meets me and this one's over there with the other one yeah we, we don't we don't have to tell the rest of the cast but would you say Beth might be the real hero in the story heroin story that's what they wrote in the script. I, I think so. How people perceive it is on <laughs> them, but that's what I read, and that's why I signed on the dotted line and said yes, thank you. I kind of get that. Too. Heck yeah, I'm on a boat. Listen, Sandy went to DR a couple of weeks earlier. She sends me this video, and she's like, "What do you feel about being on a navy boat and having your Titanic moment?" I said yes, and then I got on that boat, and I was like, "Should have said no." <laughs> But in, in Beth, you know, uh, Beth, her character uh, needs help too along the way. And who's her hero? Oh, I don't know. Me. Yes. Oscar. So, so let's talk a little bit about Oscar and uh, your BFF. Um, my character, I'm so, uh, let's see. I got nothing. He, yes, he does the thing and he's uh, the pilot. And so... You know, they meet at the airport, which was very cool because in real life, we worked in a show in Toronto. They're just so tired of hearing the story. But we worked <laughs> in, a, in a, and I met her at the airport for the first time on the mm -hmm. set. And that was our first day of shooting mm -hmm. was since I've seen her, since we worked together in Toronto, I think. Yeah. So that was a uh, oh, beautiful reunion. Joyous. Yes. Did you Patty. follow a lot of stuff there? Patty, you know what's interesting is you, you come in as a social media manager in, in the film, and it got me thinking, why is it that we're, we're, you know, we're obsessed with social media? Well, some of us are, and some of us have to just to play the game, right? Right? Or else you kind of left behind. But, but why is it that you know, we're so intrigued to it, but at the same time, we love to make fun of it? Well, I think, I think the framing of that question kind of puts it as if the onus of responsibility for our obsession with social media is on us as the individuals when it's really on the algorithms that kind of uh, bludgeon us and inundate us with advertising in a way that uh, they, they, the people who do this like research and the data who design these algorithms that like keep us addicted, it's, it's pretty sickening. It's pre actually pretty sickening. So I would think that you know, in our world that's social media obsessed, I think it's good to see a character um, like Sandy's who is, you know, a little adverse or apprehensive around the uh, the social media of it all and how easy it could be to, you know, buy into that and use that to promote your book. Um, 
I think personally that social media will end society as we have it because it's become an advertising platform. Mm. In real life, are you are you big in social media or not? I'm verified. <laughs> <laughs> I get sent a lot of free stuff. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Instagram. Yeah. I should get some more free stuff. Free, free stuff is always nice. <laughs> Divine Oscar Petty, thank you so much for your time.